It's the Top Play Special Master. Live and direct. Breakfast with Top Curvin. Trickstar Radio. Yes then people, how are we feeling out there this morning? Welcome back to Breakfast with Kovu here on Trickstar Radio. I am having a whale of a time this morning. It's good to have all of you in the building with us as well. Very much enjoying the show so far as we now jump into a, uh, a section that's becoming a much more regular part of the show, which I'm really, really enjoying to be honest with you because I've said before, I love reviewing music, I love breaking music down and just discussing new music in general and none more so than music that is of system culture, that is of that sort of reggae dynasty and that that's exactly what we're jumping into today. The brand new album from Jesse Royal. It did drop uh, last week, I believe, and uh, we've been playing bits off it all week. So I've given it a little bit of time to marinate in my in my mind, and now we're going to give it a full album breakdown. More than anything else, jumping into new reggae music is my favourite thing to do, and being able to showcase it here on the Breakfast Show on Trickstar, which is of course the biggest station in the south of the UK. It's uh, it, it's fantastic to be able to do, and I look forward to it every single time I see a new project. I'm like, right, I'm reviewing that um, live on the show, and it's great to be able to do. So um, if you guys have any other albums that you would be very keen on me to review on the show please do hit me up at CubKXVU at Trickstar Radio and of course you can lock in via the Trickstar Radio app and you can also send messages in via that um, we've been running Jesse Royal tunes on the station for a hot minute now and to be honest with you I'm very very rarely disappointed I'm very very rarely not overwhelmed by how good the stuff he puts forward is um, and vocally this guy is something very special indeed he has similar sort of attributes to a lot of Chronix's earliest stuff but for me he approaches it with a much more ethereal sort of sound and the, the way he approaches tunes is a lot more kind of delicate I feel a lot of the time than what Chronix does uh, focusing his sound on a much higher pitched vocal range um, primarily with very very sing-along melodies which is very enjoyable to listen to um, sonically it's, he's been fantastic in regards to the, the the releases he's been putting out there recently with the, obviously this show supporting a lot of those singles and this uh, brand new album does go by the name of Royal again for me this is an important step and it's quite a specific step because we've seen him pop up on a lot of features we've seen him pop up on collaborations and despite the fact there are some top top quality collaborations on this project which we will dive into a little bit later for me um this is very much about showcasing how good jesse royal has become over the years so this is uh, it's a fantastic thing to see and i'm looking forward to getting into the full length thing uh, courtesy of easy star records so uh, as far as i'm aware vision alexander has had a bit of a hand in writing a couple of the tunes i spoke to uh, i spoke to his manager a couple of days ago and they were very keen to kind of point that out so uh, that's something that is going on with this album as well but in general the uh, the musicality the uh, the writing side of things and just the general melodic approach that has been taken to this project is second to none let's dive right into the track listing um, with uh, regular Trickstar listeners already likely to know a big chunk of these tunes um, but as it stands currently the opening track High Tide or Low is on the Trickstar playlist as we speak it's one of those that uh, gives us a fantastic starting point obviously Samurai Eye is the feature on this and he's known for having very moving vocal lines um, and this is another perfect example of that in action uh, the pair combined with uh, majestic uh, results it's fantastic to hear them go back and forth and I cannot praise this tune enough sumptuous levels of compositional value on this one just the way it's structured again not a typical reggae tune but that's not something I'm ever mad at when you get two artists with a vocal range like this coming together uh, moving forward then let's have a little look-see shall we uh, next up, uh, another maestro of the modern reggae sound, of course, Protégé jumps on with his uh, performance on uh, Lion Order. Another stripped back, dubwise style delight, uh, combined with some perfect harmonic layering, uh, some really, really cool sort of old school dance or fader, fader sort of rides in there as well. Very sort of reminiscent of early uh, sort of system toasting, where you kind of hear the faders going boom. Vroom, 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 vroom. Really, really cool approach on that. And a nice little way of sprinkling that element of, I suppose, respect for the sound and where it has come from into the project, which again is a big running theme throughout the entirety. Uh, following this, we then get uh, a really, really cool feature from Stoneboy on Dirty Money, taking it international, switching up the flavor with a much more Afrobeat style instrumental. But again, as, pro as uh, not Proje, as Jesse Royal, the actual person we're talking about here, um, he sounds as at home as he possibly can. He makes tunes his own again a big feature of this project as a whole um, and obviously Stoneboy when he's on form is always welcome to listen to it's a fantastic back and forth between the two of them uh, Natty Dread is next and again this has been a an absolute 
scorcher of a tune. I've been playing this one every day for the past month. It's ridiculous how enjoyable this tune is. Again, it's a perfect example of what's happening in reggae right now. Those beautiful distant horns, uh, stunning use of space, and another super catchy vocal from Jesse are what make this uh, as special as it is. Following that, we get into the almost blues, I suppose, almost like post-jazz strip-back style of Home, which again adds a, diff- a massive layer of differentiation to the project, once again expanding Jesse's vocal ability. After that, we get the legendary Vibes Cartel turn up, and in typical style, uh, the trappy rolls and the gnarly piano keys of uh, Rich Forever do take things somewhere completely different. Again, continuously pushing the boundaries with this project, but always coming back to those central reggae themes. Personally, I much prefer Jesse's uh, sort of dubwise approaches, but as I was saying, the, the different avenues he, you find him uh, going down with this project just add to the overall quality of it as a long play, and I think it, it puts that creativity through the roof. Uh, we explore more future futuristic elements um, in the dubwise style um, and electric sort of drum elements of Natty Pablo. Um, that's where they're brought to the forefront with a bass heavy instrumental driving the track forward with strong digital bass lines reminiscent of early sort of digi dub and things like that and it sounds absolutely wicked. Following that we jump into Black which returns to a uh, rootsy sounding dub uh, doused in organic percussion, distant horns and, uh, um, and just in general a very celebratory approach lyric wise. Very very nice from Jesse on the this one and then following that we get into the more uh, delicate and skippy rhythms of like that which is very focused on sort of stripped back guitar plucks uh, a lot, uh, with uh, Runkus and the acoustic approach of difference uh, to begin the wind down towards the end of the album just in general the way it's been put together and the structure of the project is very very solid indeed uh, we then finish with Strongest Link alongside Kumar which provides a slower march uh, to bring everyone um, every, everyone and everything to a close uh, deploying a lively uh, finishing move I feel to the project which I can only describe as a masterclass from Jesse Royal and for me the thing that does stand out the most about this album is the way he's able to combine a very respectful approach for where the sound originally comes from um, for me, like very much focusing on those sort of early dubwise and rootsy sort of influences, but he's also able to combine that with a much more modernized global take on on music as a whole. Obviously, the collaborations with Stoneboy and Vibes Cartel, very good examples of that. The sort of bluesy stuff that's creeping in, but then there are some proper like old school rootsy rollers on there as well. It's just a fantastic showcasing of how good Jesse Royal's style has become and just how versatile he's become as an artist over the years. Um, and I think the beautiful thing about it is it's just such a modernized version of, uh, of everything he represents and to be honest with you this is an album that I have genuinely listened through uh, start to finish three times I don't normally do that before the reviews I like to kind of take things at face value and then let them marinate over time afterwards once I've given my initial thoughts but this one I had to sit and listen through three times before I could start going like you know what I'm sort of getting a general picture of what's going on here and not in a bad way in a good way I couldn't put the album down it's the point I'm trying to make so uh, Jesse Royal Royal is out now uh, do go and grab it it's a fantastic listen and definitely one worth listening through on long play even though the singles all work individually the long play approach to this one is something that is very valuable indeed so do go and check it out we are going to round off uh, this review with a listen to high tide or low as it is on the Trickstar playlist right about now uh, featuring Samari I Jesse Royal on absolute fire it's just gone 28 minutes past Seven here on the Big Bad Trick Star Radio, and that is today's live album review. Keep it locked. This is Breakfast with COVID, bringing you their morning flavors on Trick Star Radio. Trick Star Radio.